Bonjour, I'm Rick Steves. I'm on my favorite street in Paris. This is Rue Claire. And we're just going to do a little walk because I absolutely love this street and I want to kind of show how it's a slice of French uh, living. Here you got the uh, Roussillon and it's just your beautiful cafe on the street corner. And uh, you can see it's got all of its legalistic decals and prices and patches in the doors and a wonderful handwritten menu. Across the street, we see how the French really dote over their children. And that uh, you can go into a little shop uh, called the Petit Atto. And here we see happy little French gears. And uh, anybody who is, uh, by the way, the new French president, Macron, Emmanuel Macron, lives right there in the office. Uh, and uh, he likes this neighborhood too. Well, people like to come in the morning and buy their produce. And they want to know exactly where's Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Morocco. They want to know where their vegetables and fruits come from. But here we have some hot balls. And, uh, of course, when you're uh, on a beautiful street like this, you've got your gorgeous little cafes where people have their coffee in the morning. And uh, when you're going to do your shopping, you know, a nice uh, proper person wants to have all the different specialty shops. The wine shop, really elegant. And then you've got to have some cheese with your meal. And this fromagerie has been here for generations. Bonjour. And uh, here we just have the top quality cheeses. And uh, this uh, here, butter and eggs. Milk, butter and eggs. And uh, you know, uh, got your fresh uh, fish. And uh, that looks very appealing. There's a lot of respect for history here. I mean, here's a little uh, Greek restaurant and uh, creperie. It's the only place to get a crepe on the street. But you can see the sign was for horse meat. A long, long time ago. Uh, I love the, 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 the notion that this is pedestrian only. I mean, you've got your service, service vehicles and so on. Uh, but it's uh, pedestrian only. It's pedestrian friendly. And uh, get your pharmacy, and you've got your opportunity to be diagnosed for smaller problems than having to go to the doctor. Treacheries. Treacheries. Uh, this is an opportunity for people who are busy to just get something by the way to take it home and not have to do a lot of cooking. And this is something that to me is very, very French. Quality, quality um, takeout so you can focus your energy on being a relaxed and well-rested host. And maybe just worry about preparing the main course have all the sides taken care of. But you can see the, the joy of walking down the street and doing your shopping. And people will uh, 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 you know, typically live in small apartments, typically have uh, small refrigerators, little tiny fridges under the, under the sink so that, they can, uh, so that they can just not go to shopping every day. Here we have the corner Café du Marché. And that's just a, a, a delightful place to hang out. You've got your, your big box store, French style, which is not very big boxes. You've got your new system where people can basically borrow a bike. Uh, every neighborhood street needs its bakery. And the boulangerie. And uh, this boulangerie is delightful for its bread. Bonjour, madame. And the beautiful pastries, beautiful pastries.
Uh, but people, of course, come here for their bag of cat. Uh, there's a dynamic going on where more and more uh, people are uh, renting out apartments to travelers and so on. So these places are morphing into sit down, uh, take out places, and uh, accommodating the new sort of uh, demographics of the neighborhood. It's a challenge all over Europe. More travelers, uh, more affluence, less five and dime stores. In a country where oh, we've got some older retirees that have their favorite chocolates, you always want to have your your neighborhood chocolate shop. And here's where you can get the old-fashioned goodies that Grandma always liked. Uh, in a country that, you know, a lot of people don't even drive, uh, people have more shoes, more interest in shoes than in cars. And you'll have a very quality shoe shop on the street. And uh, a big deal with the old gardens is the flower shop. People don't have a backyard, but they certainly have an appetite for flowers. So here's Ruclair Fleur. And uh, if you look above, you see people have uh, a couple of uh, windows where they can try to find a good part of elegant living, fine living when you're here in a big city like Paris. Imagine the population density and how accessible these beautiful, beautiful uh, shops are for people who are living in the urban style here in France. Ah, the butcher. And here at the butcher, you can find all the parts, all the parts you need. And of course, the French have a big appetite for the pâtés, beautiful pâtés. What's your sure? And uh, the liver and guise and the finest cuts. And I just love the cafes. People hanging out, having their coffee, people with their friends, reading their paper. Ah, local shop with trolleys. So you'll find trolleys like this on sale, and it is very strictly discouraged to have throwaway bags when you go shopping. And then we finish our walk. The post office is getting smaller and smaller as fewer fewer people mail things. So what used to be a massive post office is now a small post office with some fancy shops renting the space that was at one time picked up by the Postal Service. And uh, some beautiful flowers kind of brighten up a little apartment. And the city is well organized. I mean, you've got, here we go, we, we finished our pedestrian street, Rue Claire. And as I said in the morning, you have some service vehicles and some owners that take their cars in. You have here a uh, printed out board that explains what's the news for traffic, what's expected today, any sort of problems to anticipate. And then we come out into the street and we see that Paris today is better organized than ever. Across the street, we've got the tobacco shop. That's where you buy your stamps, pay your taxes the lotto and pick up a cigar and all around us we are surrounded by a city of millions of people elegant old architecture modern buildings doing their best to fit in public transportation buses bicycles pedestrians and doing its best to live well i'm extremes surveying life here in france Enjoying doing my best to be a temporary local. Happy travels.